Hey, if you're nobody's business or your front page news, a folk rock country all tell to blues, I tell you the truth however you choose and do it all for the sake of a song. Yeah, you track and bus riding, rental cars, a living rooms, coffee houses, run down bars. And 10,000 people all alone under the stars. It's all for the sake of the song. And there's a man who wrote your cheating heart. Now he's lying through his toe. And he plays it on a stone. The girl next door From the empty room To the third encore Less is less Until more is more And it's all For the sake of song The son of some well known, and his father bought the two bus so he could strike out on his own. And there's the brooding contradiction, yeah, he's holding Van Gogh's ear, and he's tempted to his guitar. Came back to your roots A high tops, flannels Or duct tape boots And it's all for the sake of the song There's a legend, yeah, there's the best it's ever been. And there's the voice of a generation who won't pass this way again. And there's record deals and train seals and puppets on it. It's lights, camera, on with the show, lifetime to get ready, now go, okay, go, oh, where it all ends, nobody knows, but it's all for the sake of the song, so if you're nobody's business, or your front page news, folk rock country, old tale to blues, I tell you the truth however you choose and do it all for the sake of the song. Let's see if that worked. 
Hey everybody. Yes, okay. All right, uh, good evening. Welcome to Alone Together Tuesdays, episode, I think, 24. We've been at this a minute now. Thank y'all for sticking with me, or if you're a first-timer, thanks for joining in and hanging out. Um, it's good to see you here. Give me just a second. Uh, I've got a bunch of different devices, and I'm trying to get them all situated. And in the meantime, if anybody wants to be a uh, my director, I'm hiring. I need help. I need a little extra help. Uh, all right. Okay, are you in, getting settled? All right, welcome in everybody. Yeah, I'm troubled and I don't know where I'm troubled and I don't know why This trouble on my mind is driving me blind And I'm troubled and I don't know why Oh, what did the newspaper say? Yeah, what did the newspaper say? Well, it walked in the door and it laid down on the floor Said it's another old weary day I'm trouble and I don't know why I'm trouble and I don't know why This trouble on my mind is driving me blind And I'm trouble and I don't know why What did the television squall? Well, it roared and it burned and it bounced around the room and it didn't say nothing at all. I'm trouble and I don't know why. I'm trouble and I don't know why. This trouble on my mind is driving me blind and I'm trouble and The movie screen lecture. Well, it heated and it froze and it took off all its clothes and I left in the middle of the picture. I'm trouble and I don't know why. I'm trouble and I don't know why. I'm trouble on my mind is driving me blind. I'm trouble. just started the show very cool thank you you could help me sing this I you could. could just sing it yourself because I, I haven't Wait. sang in 20 years I'm wearing sweat pants oh yeah because I took the night off <laughs> without telling you hey everybody we usually don't start the show with the conversation but Allison just brought me some lyrics um, uh, so anyway but I will sing it with you if you want me to okay well let's try it it's, it's, it's Tom Petty's birthday and um, I mean I've, I've probably looked worse. Can Willie come? Yeah, Willie can come. <laughs> Let's know. see. Can you get on camera there? Is that? I don't have it situated very good. That's do okay. I? I'll right. just sing with you. 
That's perfect, actually. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just let Willie. There's uh, you put him in there. Yep. Let Willie be on camera. Don't need to be. That's Willie, the one-eyed wonder dog, one-eyed Willie. Let's see. What's a? I do it in B flat. Okay, today's Tom Petty's birthday. And I didn't think about that until 10 minutes before showtime. So I'm gonna try this out. You belong among the wildflowers. You belong in a boat out at sea. Set away, kill off the hours. You belong somewhere you feel free. Run away, find you a lover. Go away, somewhere all bright and new. I've seen no other who compares. Okay, everybody, I don't know if we're still live or not. My computer just said everything crashed, so let me see. Um, okay. All right, well, thank you, baby. I appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, this show is still happening, and I can't tell. I'll, I'll find out. I'll okay, go look for me. All right, we are live still. Okay, it's still working. All right, thanks, y'all. Well, uh, I haven't played that song in forever and uh we've never practiced it so it wasn't our best version but uh here's to you tom if there was ever anybody cooler i, I don't I, I just don't think there was uh tom petty was the best so all right um still good on our end okay cool well let's play some more music here Too long. 
I got a world of troubles I'm trying to forget I'm on my way But I ain't there yet So give me just one more puff Of that worry be gone Everywhere I look The trouble is all I see Can't listen to the radio And I hate TV There's trouble with the air the Trouble with the water People ain't treating one another Like they ought to Give me just one more puff Of that worry be gone I don't wanna hear no preachers preaching no more politicians bitching All these songs about love gone wrong Make me wonder where my baby's gone home I can't suffer fools Wasting my time Don't give me no advice that rhymes Give me just one more puff tuning in um, uh, to Alone Together Tuesdays, which is on a Tuesday this week. Last week it was on a Wednesday. Uh, I left the house for a minute, went down to Texas for uh, eight days, I think. We spent, uh, played a show in Eden, Texas, uh, then a show in San Antonio, and then hung out in San Antonio for a minute, um, which was really nice. Um, then went down to Houston and did this show from the Mucky Duck, which was a treat. And then the next night we did two shows, like regular shows um, for audiences outside. Uh, the second show got rained out, but then the rain passed. So I came out and did an acoustic unplugged thing, um, which was fun. And then we went to Dallas or Arlington and played a band show. It was the first time I'd seen the band in 10 months. So that was really cool. Um, that was my highlight I think that was just really fun to get to to play with those guys again and then uh, wrapped up in the woodlands uh, on Sunday night and uh, flew home yesterday actually missed my flight I overslept like the old days um, but uh, yeah so here we are um, all right well I'm gonna keep playing music but uh, thank y'all for for tuning in if you got any requests at some at a certain point in time, I'm gonna stop and take some questions and um, uh, maybe even some requests but, uh, I got on here before I started running things there was a guy I think named David who had asked about a song of mine called times like these 
and he had asked how to play it, uh, a particular chord progression. So I'm, forgive me all, I'm just going to give him a quick guitar lesson before we um, go any further. And uh, so this is in drop D, David. And I think the thing you're talking about is I do like an A7 shape, just so it's A7 and then like a C without the that. I don't I don't know my chords. So. And then that's an A7, an actual A7. So I don't even know what these are called. So anyway, I hope that that's the best I can do. So I hope that helped. Everyone could use a hand Instead of standing around Losing ground Fighting all the promised land And it's so hard to tell If this is heaven or hell And I can never measure by degrees But it's sure getting warm Around here in times like these In times like these Do I really need a billionaire? Just taking all my time Trying to tell me how he's treated unfair all that I have to pay is the home of the brave Gets divided into them and the weak Oh, I find I'm losing my mind in times like these It'll come and go They hear and they not Every day I'm getting better at losing something I haven't got I just wanna do my labor, love my girl and help my neighbor while I keep a little hope in my dreams. But it's sure getting hard, brother, in times like these. I wish I had a place to hide Instead of bringing it together What is widening the great divide I hope and I pray at the end of the day That I can somehow get my troubles to ease But I gotta say it's not looking good Not in times like these Yeah, they're coming to go They're cold and they're hot Trying to keep the world from turning me to something I'm not And I'm gonna try to run till the whole thing's done And I just hope I don't end up on my knees But it's sure getting hard to stand up in times like these I just wanna do my labor, love my girl and help my neighbor While I keep it on my joie de vie But it's sure getting hard for other in times like these just a little bit of help in times like these Yes, I could. Yes, I could. All right. Let's see. I said I was going to take questions, but that would require being able to see what's going on. And this is telling me I don't have internet connection. So... Bear with me here. I'm going to try and get it figured out. Um, well, I don't know if there's any figuring out to be done. It either works or it doesn't. Let's see. And. Ta -da. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. It was such a trip this week going back to Texas and, and, and playing shows in front of live audiences. Uh, and it was kind of hit and miss. Some of the shows were, were um, I think, good. And then some, maybe not. Um, but it was just, it was just strange to, to, to see people out there, to hear applause when I'd finish a song. Um, you know, some places take, were taking, you know, 
real serious safety precautions and some were like I'd walk in the venue and some guy would you know everybody sh shake my hand and want to hug me I was like um I don't know, it's strange. It's interesting. Interesting times. Um, all right, well, let's see. I can read some of these comments here. Let's see. Working on your IT degree, Hayes? Yes, very funny, Belinda. Turn your screensaver off. I don't know how that requires a level of expertise I don't have. Um, watching from Hamilton, Ontario. Well, John, welcome. Thanks for coming in. Applause, what's that? Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, one of the, one of the shows I did, or three of the shows I did, was the McConnell's Monkey Duck in Houston, Texas, and that's a club that I started. One of the first clubs I was playing, like once I stopped playing covers. I mean, I still play covers, but but my early days, my early gigs were all covers. It was like, there was none of my original songs. And then I started getting to go to clubs where they had actual like songwriters performing. And um, Lisa Morales from the band Sisters Morales, who produced my first record, um, invited me to do a song swap there with Michael O'Connor. I'm pretty sure that was my first time to play at the, old, at the uh, Monkey Duck. But I, the second time, I think it was the second time, was with uh, two great songwriters, Trish Murphy, who I love, was, was a dear friend and, and uh, was very good to me early on, um, sort of telling people about me when, when nobody knew about me. Um, and then Shake Russell, who's uh, uh, an incredible songwriter and, and a pretty iconic, legendary cat for a lot of folks like me um, and I remember being really nervous to be sitting next to Shake and and he used to have a duo uh, with Dana Dana Cooper who lives here in Nashville and and we used to um, I used to open for them or I did a couple times and uh, anyway I remember trying to get over my nerves in this song swap and there's writers in the round. So like Trish would play a song and Shake would play a song and then I had to follow that. And so what I did was I tried to use humor. I don't know how effective it was, but I, I introduced myself and I said, I'm used to playing with more uh, well-known artists than these two. And uh, anyway, neither one of them knew me at the time and I'm not sure they knew how to take that. <laughs> Got my sense of humor. Uh, at least at first, uh, but I think it all worked out by the end of the night. Um, and uh, anyway, point being is I'm gonna play a uh, I'm gonna play a Shake Russell song here. That's uh, one of my favorites. I think Waylon Jennings covered this, and it's just a, a beautiful tune. So it's called Deep in the West. Run. 
So you hang on to me And I hang on to you Together we're one And divided we're through Ooh, divided we're through Refusing to talk I suppose that it's all for love's sake Learning to give That's important Before you can take from me Are you listening to me When I'm talking to you To kill away one And divide it with through so you hang on to me And I hang on to you Together we're one And divided with you Ooh, divided with you All right, Shake Russell, such a beautiful song. You know, there's, there's, if y'all are anything like me, you've got those songs that, they're not just songs you love, but like you heard them so many times and the, the sound on the record, the particular recording is so distinct and it just gets ingrained in your, in your memory. And uh, I hadn't thought about Shake in a while and, and the other day I was just going through, you know, cover songs or songs that I used to cover. I pulled that out and, and um, uh, gave it a listen. And as soon as the those guitars started playing, it just all came back to me. It's amazing how music can do that. Um, so, um, all right, I'm going to try one more time to get online just to make sure that this is working. But uh, in the meantime, y'all let me know if it is. Let's see. Uh, Parkinsburg, West Virginia, Tomball, Texas, all right, it's perfect, applause from Toronto, can you hear it, I can, now that you mention it, Michael, thank you very much, it is, all right, working with, okay, uh, will you tell us about those guitars on your right, yeah, I'll give you a quick rundown on the guitars here. Um, okay, uh, well, first of all, I'll start with what I'm playing. This is my Gibson J45. I bought this from Fuller's Vintage Guitars the day before I made my first record. And this has been my workhorse. I've played this for almost every show I've ever done. Um, uh, yeah, it has served me really well. Uh, Let's see. Next up, right here, is a it's an electric. It's a Jerry Jones baritone, um, which they don't make these anymore. I don't know much about guitars, but I know that this is a cool one, <clears throat> and this just has a basically a really low <clears throat> sound. I'm gonna I have to play an acoustic version, so I'll show you what that feels like. <clears throat> I don't have my rig set up, so I can't plug this in yet. But when I'm with the band, I like to turn this on and, and uh, I play like uh, I got a gig on this. <clears throat> uh, sometimes I play the letter. Uh, sometimes I play Don't Let Me Fall. And sometimes I play Down the Road Tonight. Uh, which is... Live store cowboys, driving them junkies. Anyway. I don't, I'm not gonna, I haven't tuned this and it's also not plugged in, so I'm not gonna waste too much time. 
with that. Oh, and then this is, I don't play much electric guitar, uh, but when I did my K-Mag Yo-Yo record, there was a lot of electric stuff on that, and or not a lot, but enough to to decide to start playing live, playing electric live a little bit. And so I got this Gibson here, and um, uh, it was back in the days when Gibson was generously um, uh, giving out guitars, and they actually gave this to me. Um, so I've 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 bought very few guitars in my life. Um, I mean, I, I bought a bunch when I was young because they all cost a hundred dollars, and so, um, uh, and they would get rusted out on the beach, and I would, so I would go through some new ones um, or used ones usually. Um, but in my adult life. I've maybe bought three guitars, like since I was, I say, in my adult life, that's starting at 40. Um, no, uh, starting uh, uh, probably from like 27 on, uh, I've maybe bought two guitars <laughs> in 17 years. <laughs> so I don't know, that's the thing. It, that's like cars for me, cars and guitars. I think when I was young, I didn't have the money to um, to get really nice cars or guitars, and so I just sort of told myself I would be happy with whatever I had, and and so to keep from being depressed about it all, I'm just kind of grateful for what I had, um, and that worked on the um, on the car front. I still having a nice car is not a big thing for me, um, but. I don't know if it would have worked on the guitar front since that's how I'm, it's my livelihood, but I, I think because this guitar served me so well, I ended up not uh, ever really kind of longing for anything else. Um, so, and then one other guitar here, I'll show you. I play this sometimes. This is a, a baritone. This is my first guitar. I got it when I was 15 for Christmas. Um, and uh, are y'all still here? Yeah, okay. Um, and. Uh, it's an Alvarez 12 string. My parents got me a 12 string guitar for my first guitar, um, but there's only six strings on it. And uh, my friend Kerry Welton sat on it and broke it in uh, New Orleans when I was 17. And um, I retired it for a long time and then I turned it into, I got it fixed and I turned it into a baritone, which means. You hear that real low sound? That's that, that's a baritone. So I've done a lot of songs on it, including this one. Chances are I took the wrong turn Every time I had a turn to take And I guess I broke my own heart Every chance that I had a heart to breathe It seems I spent my whole life just wishing on that same unlucky star. But as I watch you cross the barroom, well, I wonder just what my chances are. Well, I know you looked around and you've seen what you Probably not dreaming about me And it's safe to say I've stumbled But I've managed to make it through this far And as I take one step and then another Well, I wonder what my chances are Yeah, I watched the world go by hand in hand and wondered why I'm still so alone. Could I lay down my foolish pride and maybe finally find my heart a home? All oh, the band has started playing this simple song I used to know. 
As I take your hand and walk you out and dance to the rhythm way down low Every heart has got a story but mine just has a few more scars But they could heal if you would hold me and just tell me what my chances are Oh, if you would only hold me and tell me what my chances are So, that is the baritone acoustic uh, first guitar that I ever owned and it's still serving me well today I'm going to put it back on the rack here and I think, as we were playing, that I got a text from Kerry Welton uh, telling me, is it odd that I don't remember sitting on that guitar? <laughs> oh, it's almost, was that 27 years ago? Um, no, it's not odd, Kerry. You were very drunk at the time. Um, it obviously left a bigger impression on me and my guitar than it did on you, but uh, all good now. Um, all right, everybody. Well, hope you're still with me after that dive into my guitars. I tend to, I tend to get long-winded about everything, um, so I hope that's all right. Let's see. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I think I need a drink after that whole soliloquy. I guess I want a soliloquy. It was just an explanation about instruments. Um, all right. Well, ask me something else while I'm thinking of another song to play. Let's see. Hello from Tulsa. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Uh, let's see. I love story time. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad somebody likes it. Um, favorite song you ever wrote? Not the most popular. The favorite song I ever wrote. Boy, that's really tough. I think it changes all the time. I, I, I couldn't just tell you one that is my favorite. Um, but at times, the ones I've been the most proud of, um, I've always been proud of Arkansas Blues. Uh, wish I hadn't stayed so long. Um, long Way Home means a lot to me. And I think it's pretty well written. Um... I don't know, Beaumont. Yeah, chances are, I think it's a good one. There, there's some where I just, you know, some where I feel I got lucky and ended up with a good song, and there's some where I really put the time in and, and accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, and that's a different thing altogether. Um, uh, and I'm mentioning songs that are earlier, and it's not because I... I I don't have songs that uh, are written later, more recently, that I'm very proud of or I think are as good as, as the, or better than those. But I think there's something about in your formative years when you're trying to find your voice and you land on it, particularly in a, in a field like this, songwriting, where when you land on it, it's, it's just, it means a whole lot. Or it certainly did to me because, you know, for a long time I didn't know if I could. I didn't know if I ever could find that voice. If I, in my mind, I visualized it all the time. I could see myself being on stage. I could see myself singing these songs and 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 you know people applauding and 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 having the effect that songwriters had on me, having that effect on other people. I could visualize it, but it didn't mean it could happen. Uh, so when I when I wrote things that I felt like measured up in that way or said what I wanted to say and they weren't just throwaway rhymes, um, those things stuck with me. So, um, anyway, uh, thanks for the question, man. I've got another one uh, that helped me remember a song um, that I'm, I think that's going to join the ranks of songs I'm very proud of. Um, so let's see, uh, let's see. Here. We'll do we'll do one more, and then we'll get back to playing some music. Uh, when is the first time you realized you had made it from a commercial standpoint? 
Well, uh, a commercial standpoint, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure I've ever uh, realized I've made it. It's really funny, you know, as I get older now, I'm 44, which is a trip. It still feels like yesterday when I was a teenage kid just like dying to to do this. And this was my dream, but no real belief or well, I had a belief, but I, there was no certainty that it was going to happen at all. Um, and as your career goes on, I'm, my stuff was pretty incremental. Uh, and fortunately, I think. I think that was a good thing that I didn't have a lot of success early on. And it was just every record got a little bit further down the road, opened up some new fans. Uh, Trouble in Mind was a breakthrough record, but I don't think I realized it at the time. Because um, uh, I think I was always looking ahead, like, well, who's selling more tickets and who's making, you know, who's writing better songs? Who's, whose career's where I want to be? And I didn't really know what success was to me which made it, made me miss it as it was happening. Um, and I hope my, I've not had the peak of my career. I think I still got a lot of creative stuff left to do, but that doesn't always translate to like commercial success. Um, but you know, I may have had my commercial success peak already. Um, uh, it's just interesting cause you know, I, I just didn't know it was happening as it was happening. And I was so wrapped up in what's the next thing, what's the next thing, that I'm not sure I appreciated the significance of what I was doing at that time. And I don't mean that to sound pompous. I just, I, I run into songwriters these days fairly regularly, like younger songwriters who sort of tell me how influential certain records and certain songs were to them, which is very strange. And it's flattering, but it's very weird because I was always that guy. I was the always guy running around telling people how much I loved them and how much they meant to me. And so when people started doing that to me, I was like, oh, does that mean I'm old? Or does that, I, don't, I wasn't sure what that meant. Um, so now I just try and appreciate it and look at it like that was a period of my life and it's gone on and, and, and now there's another one and I'm, I'm still relatively young and hopefully I have some good work to do. So sorry, that was another long-winded uh, response. But uh, I, I guess the commercial success, uh, you know, probably my Trouble in Mind record <clears throat> uh, are, are going on The Tonight Show with Came Out Yo-Yo. Um, certain things, getting to play Austin City Limits. There, there were certain, definitely things career-wise where I was like, okay, now we've kind of, we're getting somewhere. So, uh, all right, let's play this here. This was the first success I ever had with a song on the radio, and it was it was pretty exciting for me, so... <laughs> Store cowboys, five and them junkies, red dirt plowboys, asphalt monkeys, holy rollers, signal callers, truck stop angels, backstreet brawlers, fans and groupies, guitar slingers, hallelujah, gospel singers, freight train mamas, the pistol shooters, my first girlfriend works at Hooters, beans and biscuits. In my cupboard, listen to Ray Wiley Hubbard We are all going down, down the road tonight Drunken angels, black top racers Holding down a whiskey chasers Lone star drinkers, midnight ramblers Dirt road divas, highway gamblers Moonshine mamas, panty droppers Dolly llamas, old pill poppers High school heroes, back row preachers Pool hall hustlers, tantric teachers Teenage cuties, a pile of techie Perry Krishna, feed me chicken We are going down, down the road tonight Blue jean babies, old heartbreakers Had a party with some Quakers Hard-worn highways, country singers Radios full of old right-wingers Session players, duct tape dealers Outlaw country, upper cap stealers Ain't no money in my 
my wallet Broke a guineas or what they call it My grandmama's name was Spiller My club Jackson peaked the thriller We are all going down down the road tonight Box gypsies, Mustang Sally's Don't go walking down dark alleys Needle pushers, on rim glasses Rhinestone jumpsuit, backstage passes Blue plate specials, lure and platters Japanese is all that matters Broken arrows, Gulf Coast kickers Who's your daddy, bumper stickers? We are all birds of a feather And on Tuesday night we are alone together And we are all going down, down the road to So, um, that, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know if that was a good little improv bit or not. Normally, um, so on the record, uh, that part is, um, I think I just say na 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 or something. So when I'm playing that song live, uh, I usually make up something about the city that I'm in, um, which some nights goes well and some nights not like if you're in Lubbock I see I never think about it until I get to the solo um, I'm still busy trying to remember all the words that I don't think to ever make up new ones until it's too late usually and so during the solo I'm like okay where am I uh, I'm in Beaumont all right what rhymes with Beaumont nothing uh, okay well what night you know <laughs> and so sometimes it, it 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 just it's a real train wreck but I thought that was birds of a feather alone together. It's alone together Tuesdays. In case you... Anyway. Um, I recorded that song on my new record called Alone Together Sessions uh, right here in this room. Um, and on that track, I think that's one of my favorite tracks because it's just me and Daryl Scott, but Daryl does all these background vocals that are incredible. Um, and then during the solo, my dog Winnie uh, was lying at my feet and she shook her collar and her tags rattle so you can hear that on the recording um which i just find fun you know it's pandemic music pandemic record making um and i think we have uh there's like 80 of the i don't have any more of the signed vinyl left but there's like 80 of the yellow vinyl unsigned and about 120 of the clear vinyl um so if you want those i, I don't think they're printing anymore after that it was just like one batch and then they're done. So if you want the Alone Together Sessions vinyl, grab them now. Because uh, they're not going to be, they'll, they'll be gone very quickly, I think. Hopefully, I don't know. Maybe it'll last two years to, to sell those hundred records. But uh, yeah, that's that. Okay, let's see. Love how you're always changing the lyrics. Oh, well, thank you. I, uh, let's see. Daryl Scott is a genius. Yes, he is. What an incredible talent. Uh, rhymes with Beaumont. Your mom. I'm not sure <laughs> what that means. Uh, let's see. What's your favorite song to sing to yourself that you would never sing for a crowd? Oh, boy. To sing for myself that I've never sing for a crowd. I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one to answer to you. I love these questions, though. Thank y'all. This is great. This makes me happy. Um, and I hope this is mildly entertaining for you. Um, but y'all have been hearing me sing for six months, so I guess mixing it up and just talking a bunch won't hurt anything. Uh...
I was thinking like, what do I sing for myself that I wouldn't sing for a crowd? And I was thinking, well, I have to sing it. And then I remembered, well, no, because I wouldn't sing it for a crowd. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to move on. I can't. There's too many songs. What's in it? What's Winnie eating this week? Uh, she hadn't eaten anything that I know of. She got to go to doggy daycare, doggy camp uh, with One-Eyed Willie uh, for the week because Allison and I went down to Texas and played some shows. So... Um, Allison got back a day early and they both picked me up at the airport yesterday and that was a real treat to have my dog, my giant growing by the day dog, jump out of the car to, to, to greet me at the airport. That was really cool. Uh, let's see. What's the significance of the white rose in Beaumont and can you play that? Um, I don't know that there's significance to it. Uh, you know, Fred Eagle Smith has a, um, a song called White Rose Filling Station. And I, I used to run around with Fred uh, and his crew a lot. And I think that was just in my mind. And I remember writing the song. It started with this, this melody. Um, I thought, that's really cool. You know, and I, I, that's, I did do that a lot, I just finger pick. I, I don't really know. You may not have noticed, but I, I I don't know theory. I don't know half the chords I'm even playing. I just kind of uh, play around a lot and, and have learned a, a few things. Um, but I try and find melodies um, uh, like that. So like Long Way Home is... Uh, like that where I've got a, a you know a, a alternating bass pattern and a little melody going on um, but anyway I had that uh, I, I just always use Beaumont in my songs uh, from the my earliest days when I was in high school I was writing songs one of the first songs I ever wrote was called birthday on a bus to Beaumont I might play that for you there because it's it goes off the rails real quickly but uh, um, and then uh, sitting with the band uh, I mentioned Beaumont uh, Barum Lament, I think I mentioned Beaumont. Um, and I just thought there was something really striking about the idea of just this guy coming um, coming down to Houston from Beaumont with this one white rose uh, for this girl. And uh, so yeah, it's stuck. Sometimes it's, there's, there's nothing to it. It's just something feels right. So. I saw you leaning on a memory With your back turned to the crowd In that little bar on Murphy Where they play guitar too loud There were people drinking whiskey And there were hearts about to leave It was cold as hell for Houston It was almost New Year's Eve All the way from Beaumont With a white rose in my hand I could not wait forever, babe I hope you'll understand All the night was feeling lucky, and so I asked you to dance. And the way you looked up at me made me think I had a chance. But when I put my arms around you, I knew you weren't giving in. And I hope it will be different if I pass this way again. All the way from Beaumont, with a white rose in my hand. I could not wait forever, babe. I hope you'll understand. Walked the road to get here with a guitar in a case And I'd have stopped in Pasadena If I'd have known about this place But you looked like forever Where the water meets the shore I've been thinking about you, baby I can't do that anymore I saw you leaning on a memory With your back turned to the crowd And that little bar on Murphy 
where they play guitar too loud. There were people drinking whiskey and there were hearts about to leave. It was cold as hell for Houston. It was almost New Year's Eve. All the way from Beaumont with a white rose in my hand. I cannot wait forever, babe. I hope you'll understand. Yeah, all the way from Beaumont with a white rose in my hand. I cannot wait forever, babe. I hope you'll understand. All right, all the way from Beaumont. Uh, let's see. Will you be guesting on ACL tomorrow? I will not. I presume you're talking about Ray Wiley Hubbard's appearance on Austin City Limits. Um, I will not be doing that, but uh, I'm so happy for him. Um, you know, Ray's one of the people who for sure got me my start, helped, helped me dramatically uh, get going in the, in, the, in the business and getting gigs and just getting some credibility. You know, he really, um, uh, he spoke highly of me and, and it gave me some credibility with buyers and, and you know, venues and journalists and stuff because he was always saying nice things about me. So um, when I got offered to play Austin City Limits, um, I was thrilled the first time I got offered. I've done it twice. And the first time I was thrilled. Um, but I immediately thought, I remember that Ray had never been invited to play it for some reason. I don't know who he upset. but um, And so uh, that did not feel right that I was going to get to play this before he did. Um, because he was not only a, a legend, but he was somebody who had really... Um, uh, uh, done so much for me. And so I asked if he would come and sing uh, A Drunken Poet's Dream with me on the on the episode. And he did. It was very cool. It's one of the highlights, one of my career highlights. Um, let's see. All right. We're playing Cornhole with the hubby and grilling out, cooking supper. I whooped him in Cornhole, though. Sorry, I'm late, Hayes. Well, congratulations, Allison, on Cornhole. Yeah, uh, let's see, the postcard, uh, this week's postcard, last week uh, was me outside the Ryman, Connie Chornuck took that photo, uh, if you tip, um, it's, it's just my way of saying thank you uh, to everybody, uh, your, your tips and contributions have, have been a, li uh, a lifesaver for us and, uh, and for a lot of other people, um, we're making a $400 donation to the Tennessee, Central Tennessee Food Bank, um, uh, we've raised over $5,000 for Feed the Frontlines through the sale of the t-shirts um, and also paid my rent during this pandemic. So thank you all very much. And so anyway, well, I just wanted to be able to give you something back. So each week we have a new postcard. Uh, and this week it is uh, me and Allison from last week. We were down in Texas and uh, on John Prine's birthday, Allison took a photo of us driving down the highway. And that's this week's postcard. I don't have it here with me, but... Um, uh, if you give us a tip, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, I'll send it to you. Um, and, uh, I was out of town, so I didn't get this week's postcards out until today, actually. So if you're wondering where it is, if you tipped last week and you're wondering where your postcard is, it's on the way. I just, uh, didn't have them with me on the road. So, um, let me, uh, play a, uh, song or two here and then I'd love to take some more of these questions. This is a lot of fun for me. I need a mouse pad cause to keep this racket down. Uh, all right, well, speaking of Ray Wiley and Drunken Poet's Dream, why don't we, why don't we do that one? That's all right, if there's no objections. Well, I got a woman, she's wild 
Wilder's room She likes to lie naked and be kissed upon She crosses a bridge and sets it on fire And it lands like a bird on a telephone wire Wine bottle scattered like last night's clothes Cigarette papers and diamond notes She laughs for a man about the shape of she says you be the center, honey, I be the sin I'm gonna holler, I'm gonna scream I'm gonna give me some mescaline She bring the roses and a place to leave A drunken poet's dream Now there's some money on the table and a pistol on the floor a few paperback books by Louie Lamar She says, honey, don't you worry about just one day Cause dying to get to heaven, that just ain't our way I'm gonna holler, I'm gonna scream I'm gonna give me some mescaline She bring me roses and a place to leave A drunken poet's dream All my life I laid around While the colors all turned blue Yeah, I closed my eyes And I finally found You brought me back to you Yeah, I got a woman She's wild as wrong She likes to lie naked And be gazed upon and She crosses a bridge And sets it on fire it's like a bird on a telephone wire I'm gonna holler, I'm gonna scream I'm gonna give me some mescaline She bring me roses and a place to leave Yeah, I'm gonna holler, I'm gonna scream I'm gonna give me some mescaline She bring me roses and a place to leave A drunken poet's dream In case you're wondering why I had a harmonica on for that song, it was just for the... I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Great Ray Wally Hubbard. You know, somebody asked me earlier about, you know, like, when did you realize commercial success, like, um, and, and that, that's... I'm not quite sure I ever, like I said, I still, that's a weird thing to put your finger on. But the, the markers that I have for myself career-wise have been uh, making my first record, getting open for Sisters Morales, uh, getting to meet Jack Ingram and open for him and tour with him, getting to meet Todd Snyder and open shows for Todd. Um... Uh, getting to meet Ray Wiley Hubbard and, and opening shows for him. Um, getting to meet Levon Helm. Getting to meet John Prine, uh, Robert Plant. Like, um, you know, you get to play with Shovels and Rope or Jason Isbell. Or the, there's there's so many folks where, like, um, you know, at first just on the the hero front, where I met I met folks that that I had was just in awe that I grew up listening to. Um, and when they took the time and shared a kind word or, or, you know, complimented me or worked with me, I mean, that just meant the world. And, uh, and that's the stuff that I will take with me to the grave is, you know, more than, than any, anything else is just, um, getting to have that connection. And in some cases of friendships with those people, um, has, has just meant everything. So, uh, anyway, all right. Let's see where we're at here. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I can't keep up with the comments. I'm, I'm behind her. Hey Hayes, I went to Hendrix too, but back in '79, graduated in '83. Boy, are we proud of you. Oh, thanks, Charlie. That's that. 
that means a lot. Uh, I went to Hendricks College in Arkansas. Uh, let's see. Were you happy with how Back on the Bottle turned out? Um, so, yeah, I got a... a uh, when I moved to Nashville, I met the Brothers Osborne, these two really cool, super talented uh, brothers play country music here and, and uh, are really successful. They're like, they're like country duo of the year, four years in a row. And we wrote a couple songs and one of them ended up on their most recent record, uh, Back on the Bottle. And yeah, I thought it was cool. It was like, uh, it kind of sounded just how we wrote it. Um, so that's always a thrill to get, you know, get your songs covered by other artists especially when you when you like them uh love the show with you and jack ingram in paris texas two great storytellers well thank you karen i don't know how many jack ingram fans we got here but uh jack was one of the first guys that uh, so we grew up in the same town of the woodlands and he was a few years older ahead of me and it was interesting because growing up in the suburbs it's hard to like imagine being able to get to play music and uh, i don't know what the career path i don't know how you get to this or I didn't know how to get from where I was to where I wanted to be and but Jack did it and by the time he was in college he was like gigging and and starting to um, get some notoriety and put out records and and when I was in high school like we used to sell his records um, uh, and uh, or my friends sold his records at the fireworks stand that they worked at and um, and then I remember being in college at Hendrix and, and watching Austin City Limits one night and Jack was on there. And it made me feel like oh, it can be done. It, it took this thing that I think probably seemed impossible because the only people I knew were just really famous. You know, it was, it was Kenny Rogers and Bob Dylan and <laughs> Jimmy Buffett and, and Paul Simon. Yeah, there was just these people in a different universe. But then here was this guy that grew up in the same town I did who's you know we used to house sit for um and uh so that was really great for me to get to watch him and his success and then when he when we first met he really shared a lot of wisdom with me and and was very generous and gracious with his time and support another person who's just very uh was a champion for me and he's a huge music fan and uh so I'm, I'm very indebted to Jack Ingram uh Anyway, I'm not sure how I got there, but uh, let's see. Uh, why don't you ever sing Waiting on the Stars to Fall? Can't find it anywhere. I heard it on a Texas songwriter's CD years ago and loved it. Thanks, Elaine. Yeah. Uh, that song, Waiting on the Stars to Fall, can only be found two places. One, that CD that you mentioned, which is was like a bonus thing for my record label. And second, the other place is if you buy the vinyl, the Trouble in Mind vinyl, it was a bonus track on that vinyl. So there's like 16 songs on that, that record. Um, and uh, all right, we'll do one more and then we'll play some more music. Um, uh, did you get to know Guy Clark? Yeah, I did. A, a little bit. Um, I I, uh, I met Guy at a party in Texas, uh, probably around 2002, and uh, I parlayed that introduction uh, and that evening spent with him into getting to write with him, and we wrote, uh, we ended up writing together twice, and um, so I don't know how much of an impression I made on Guy, I, I know he wrote with people constantly, he was very generous with his time, um, uh, so... Uh, I don't know if he even liked me, but uh, but we got a good song out of one of our sessions, and uh, and that "Worry Be Gone" that I played the show started, I played earlier in the show tonight. That uh, one of my favorite memories is of Guy. Guy wrote that song with Gary Nicholson, and um, it'll come to me. Um, but Guy had just written that, and he told me that. Uh, one, he was just enamored with that that guitar pattern, which I am too. Isn't that cool? Um, but also.
also, uh, the song was about alcohol and they wrote it and Guy smoked a lot of pot and he changed it to, to make it a, a weed song. So that's one of my favorite memories of Guy. <laughs> Him showing me this song, he was very proud of it and, and it was really cool. So I, I, I still play it, obviously, a lot. Um, and... Uh, Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Please play Help Me Remember. And uh, do y'all do y'all right? With it? Okay. Sorry. Um, all right. Well, I'll, I'll do this. This is a song I mentioned earlier, is, is one that I'm really proud of. Um, I hope if somebody else doesn't cut it, I'll put it on my next record. And um, it's uh, it's one I wrote with Josh Morningstar. And it's just about Alzheimer's, dementia, and sort of losing the thread, and just what a painful and tragic thing that that is so uh, let's see here it goes like this the leaves on that ancient old oak tree are starting to turn the same shades as the flames of this fire I'm watching burn There's an unfinished crossword resting on the arm of this chair and For the life of me I can't recall if I'm the one who left it there It feels so familiar as I watch you walk in the room First, I don't recognize you, but then I damn sure recognize that perfume. And you kneel down beside me and gently take hold of my hand. I say, baby, I'm scared and I'm not sure I know who I am. But can you help me remember? Who it is that I used to be Will you tell me the story of my family My hopes and my dreams Did I ever stand for something Or would I always fold Did I do things when I was young To be proud of when I was old Was I a house on fire Or was I just a slow burning young Could you please help me remember? This ring on my finger is golden, but faded and worn. Like it was forged in the fires of love, as weathered the storm. And I try to make sense of these old photographs on the wall But they're just faces and places from somewhere that I can't recall Will you help me remember? I feel like I'm losing my mind I know there's a story, but it's getting harder to find And did I protect my children? Did I stand up for my friends? How much damage did I do? Did I ever make amends? Did I ever fight for something? Or just not give a damn? Or was I a believer in God and all his plans? 
Did I light up your life like a full moonlit night in December? Or could you please help me remember? I need you to help me remember. Help me remember. Wrote that with Josh Morningstar. Very cool songwriter. Great guy. Um, so let's see. All right, Galveston in the house. How you doing, G Town? Um. Would love to hear the story behind It's a Shame. <laughs> well, maybe on what's Hayes going on about, yeah. Oh, so that reminds me, that song, uh, Help Me Remember, uh, I, I do have it recorded. Uh, if you liked it, uh, I have it on my Patreon, so my patrons have access to it. Um, and Patreon is this deal I do where every month I release a song, a recording, and the only people that get it are the people that support me on Patreon. You can find out about it. Um, on my website, I believe, or just go to patreon.com and, and look up my name. And uh, uh, I also do uh, I re release music exclusively there, but uh, I also do things where I take songs, like several of the songs we've done tonight, Chances Are, Drunken Poets Dream, uh, I'm not sure, Down the Road Tonight, and I do a deep dive. I have this series called What's Hayes Going On About, where I talk for like up to 30 minutes about songs and explain the lyrics and and the stories behind them and anything interesting that happened to it and how they were recorded. So it's kind of like this show tonight, but just like way longer <laughs> and way deeper. Um, and uh, this last week, my wife and I uh, did it, did one together uh, for Jesus and Elvis. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you can sign up to be a patron and, and you can get access to that as well. And um, yeah. All right, well, it looks like it's getting time to get close to wrapping it up here so let me let me just see what else I can um, my wife wants to know when I can take the postcard off the refrigerator I'm gonna miss her nice thanks Kevin I appreciate that I assume you're referring to this postcard <laughs> we were running out of professional uh, photographs for a while for postcards so I had to dig into uh, our, our cell phone cameras and my wife had this one on there so um, yeah it's probably best that it's blurry uh, anyway I mailed out several of those all right um, how about an another like you with the wife she's inside uh, she's a little under the weather so um, I don't think I'm, she's gonna come out here um, but, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. I feel like I had some other things in mind. Um, I'm going to try this. This is, uh, a song that, well, it's one of my mom's two favorite songs. And, uh, it's one of my favorite songs. I just think it's beautiful. So let's see if I can remember it here. This is Don Williams. Gin on his breath, 
and a Bible in his hand. He'd talk about honor and things I should know. Then he'd stumble a little as he walk out the door. I can still hear the soft southern winds and the live oak trees. And those Williams boys, they still mean a lot to me. Hank in Tennessee, I guess we're all gonna be what we're gonna be. So what do you do with good old boys like me? Nothing makes a sound in the night like the wind does. But you ain't afraid if you washed in the blood like I was. The smell of Cape Jasmine through the windscreen. John R. and the Wolfman kept me company. By the light of the radio by my bed, the Thomas Wolf whispering in my head. I can still hear the soft southern winds in the live oak trees. And those Williams boys, they still mean a lot to me. I guess we're all gonna be what we're gonna be So what do you do with good old boys like me? I think I know I'm going to wrap up with here, but I'm just going to read a few more comments here. Um, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I know we've been at this a while, and you, you may be bored of me. You may just be doing this out of pity at this point. I don't know. I hope it's entertaining to you. I hope it does something for you. It does a lot for me. So um, I appreciate it. Thanks to everybody who came out to the shows this week um, down in Texas. It was very cool to... To uh, get to see some people, um, hear applause at the end of a song, um, and uh, yeah, but it is good to be home. It's kind of weird traveling around out there. Uh, let's see, what's the worst injury you've ever had from being drunk? <laughs> <laughs> the worst injury I've ever had from being drunk. I don't know the worst injury. Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I, I never like hurt myself that bad. I've made a lot of terrible decisions, and um, uh, and and woke up with a lot of terrible headaches. 
Um, but that's probably the extent of it. And I don't get too drunk anymore. I used to. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> ah, but those days are gone. Let's see. Um, thanks from the cold north in Rochester, New York. All right, Rochester. Is it chilly up there, huh? Um, it's warm here in Tennessee. Tuesday night is the highlight of the week. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate it. Or, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Toby. Thank you for that. Um, and uh, your show's going to be something to look forward to. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Not bored at all. Really digging the time together with other music fans with exquisite taste. There you go. That's the way to look at it. Um, other shows gets us through the days. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, looks like y'all are saying goodbye to me, so I'm, I better wrap this up. Um, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else before I go. We got the postcards. Uh, we got a few vinyl records left. Um, I'm thinking about... Uh, I saw Todd Snyder do... Um, is starting to on his Sunday show is starting to do his all of his records from beginning to end, like each episode do a record. And I was thinking that was a good idea. I actually thought of that before he told me he was doing it, but but now it just looks like I'm copying him, so I'll just I'll go with it. Um, but I think I might do that. Uh, last week I kind of did that with my first record with Flowers and Liquor, and so uh, maybe next week I'll do Little Rock um, and just work our way through it. But that might be fun for me. Um, hopefully for y'all. And, um, uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, may do that. So if there's a, if there's a, if there's a record that y'all would like to hear, if you think that's a good idea, let me know in the comments and, uh, we don't have to do it chronologically. We can just pick one and, and go with it. And, uh, oh, the other thing was, uh, I just found out today, uh, Joe Pug, uh, my friend Joe Pug, who's got an amazing podcast called "Song," uh, called uh, "The Working Songwriter," um, and who uh, is a great musician, and who also helped me get some of this gear to make this look as pro hopefully professional as it does, um, is going to be coming through town in, in uh, mid-November, and is going to be my guest on the show. So uh, Joe has his own shows on Sunday nights, I believe. Um, and, uh, but he's going to be a guest on mine and, and later in November. So I'll, I'll keep you up to date with that. And I may start trying to bring people in either here physically with me or do some kind of Zoom kind of situation, but uh, bring back the enough rope thing. Um, so, uh, and I think that's, that's all I got. Uh, okay. Yeah, and Todd is on Sunday. And, uh, and my wife, uh, Allison, every other Sunday uh, has a show. So a lot happening on Sundays. So y'all check that out. Okay, well, I'm going to send this out to uh, the road because uh, uh, while it was good to get out for a minute and see some folks and play some music, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm glad to be back here. So um, thanks again, y'all. I hope you had a great night and uh, um, have a great week. And I'll catch up with you soon. Shooting stars and whiskey bottles All scattered across the yard I'd have stayed back home in Houston If I'd known it'd be this hard All oh, it is, it is I'm busted I'm broke down across the bay And I might not make December But we keep carrying on this way My pretty girls in deep depressions I keep falling from the sky I got all the time in heaven But no sense to wonder why And the nights have all gone crazy And the bars have all shut down One day I swear I'll blow it all Back up and leave this town And sometimes I get so tired Of telling right from wrong And stayed so long. Now here I am in Music City, the lost hearts and neon signs, and I can't seem to remember what I can.
seem so far to find Police cars and paper money Motel rooms and cigarettes Yeah, they tell you you ain't nothing Just in case you might forget And I can hear that country music From the window up above but Do they do it for the money Or do they do it for the love A burning eyes and stolen pistols Seems all that comes my way I'm gonna burn down all my bridges Grab a car and drive away And sometimes I can't believe I did all that for the sun casino sign and we can pack up all our wishes and then bet them all on black hit the lights of Mississippi with the south wind in our backs and it's always been the same down every road I've come on hey I'm glad I came just wish I hadn't stayed so Happy Tuesday, y'all. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And uh, hopefully I will see you next week. Uh, and until then, let's see if I can make this work. It's going to be so smooth. Outro, post-show. Nobody's business or your front page news. A folk rock country all tell to blues. I tell you the truth however you choose and do it all for the sake of a song. Yeah, you track and bus riding, rental cars, a living rooms, coffee houses, run down bars. And 10,000 people all alone under the stars It's all for the sake of the song And there's a man who wrote your cheating heart Now he's lying through his toe And he plays it on a stolen harp It's soaked in a hundred The girl next door From the empty room To the third encore Less is less Until more is more And it's all For the sake of song The son of some well known, and his father bought the two bus so he could strike out on his own. And there's the brooding contradiction, yeah, he's holding Van Gogh's ear, and he's tempted to his guitar. Next be
big bang or came back to your roots A high tops, flannels or duct tape boots And it's all for the sake of the song There's a legend, yeah, there's the best it's ever been. And there's the voice of a generation who won't pass this way again. And there's record deals and strange seals and puppets on its train. It's lights, camera, on with the show, lifetime to get ready, now go, okay, go, oh, where it all ends, nobody knows, but it's all for the sake of the song, so if you're nobody's business, or oh, your front page news, folk, rock, country, old tell to blues, I tell you the truth however you choose and do it all for the sake of the song. <laughs> <laughs>